This tutorial explains how to use the QA report to understand the automated and visual check results in QA for LIDAR. The QA for LIDAR QA report can be accessed under the output heading in the left menu panel. When the report is clicked, the message updating tile index shapefile followed by generating report data appear while the report is generated and the tile index updated with the latest check results. The tile index will only be updated once for every, every QA session run. The report can be generated in sections after each check is run or once all checks have been run. The QA for LiDAR and ArcGIS versions are printed at the top of the report along with the contract number and project title. These are extracted from the tender form. So if no forms exist, they will be blank. The project directory is also printed. And a date and time stamp in the top right hand corner, which is regenerated every time the report is generated. Before a check is completed, the compliance will state pending. The types of compliance stated on the report are explained at the top of the report. The user is able to change the compliance found by QA for LiDAR by hovering the mouse over the particular compliance and using the drop down box. For example, a user may change the compliance from failed to see path if the data is very close to passing and is deemed acceptable. If a change is made, an asterisk will appear next to the new compliance value, meaning the compliance value has been changed by the user and is different to the value originally assigned by QA for LiDAR. If a check has failed, the element will be highlighted red. The user can left click on the highlighted field for more information about the failure. This detailed fail information can also be printed to PDF by the file menu Print QA Edit. By hovering over any entry in the left hand column of each table, a tooltip is displayed which gives a brief explanation of what each check does. The sections of the report under each blue heading are in the same order as the suggested running order of the automated checks. If a user wishes to rerun a set of checks, they may click the blue button directly beneath the check results which will return them to the automated check screen with the relevant checks ticked. Users should be aware that existing results for a check will be overwritten if the check is rerun, which is what this warning is about. So all the user then needs to do is click run and the checks will be rerun. So each results table generally has a field explaining the check type for data type, the result is for a compliance data type there, a compliance field for the pass fail results, some results field or here a problem field with the values found by QA for LIDAR, and often a field with the required value from the tender form that the compliance is based on. In this case, we've got a number of failed files out of the total for each file type. So, down, down, absolute vertical accuracy. So, you've got the delivery element, the type of control, the compliance field, the acceptability rating that was chosen by the user, the number of acceptable checkpoints found. And the required absolute vertical accuracy as per the forms and the results that QA for LiDAR found. Some results tables also have a green button underneath which links to the output location of any output files produced by QA for LiDAR. The user can click the blue heading bar for each results section to hide or display that section on the report. The QA report can be printed to PDF via the file menu, print report summary. Any sections that have been hidden in the report will not be printed to the PDF. 
Results can also be saved to XML from the file menu. Thank you for watching this QA for Lido report tutorial. For other tutorials, please visit the QA for Lido YouTube channel.